I ordered up a Category 1 Drawbar 3-point tractor trailer hitch receiver. I got this off Amazon. It was $65 delivered to my front door. It did need some modification, which you're going to see me do here later on, to make it work with the quick attach that I have put on the back of my tractor. I ended up grabbing my plasma cutter. We washed out the welds. It took a few minutes, but it uh, worked pretty well. Once we got those welds washed out, I grabbed the, uh, the pin and I just banged on them and, and knocked them right off of the end of that thing. There goes the last one. Used the plasma cutter to clean up a few of those weld remnants and then I uh, did a little check fit. You can see here I needed to move those ears down quite a ways. It was probably four or five inches and that's to better line up with the quick attach that I have on the back of my tractor. It allows me to not have to readjust the hook uh, when I move from implement to implement. So once we got those ears check fit and marked where they go, I grabbed my stick welder, a uh, little 6010, and we tacked them on. The rod I was using had quite a bit of moisture in the flux, and it, it was pretty challenging to get it to get it burning correctly. Made it work though. We got it welded on there. I did grab my needle gun to uh, needle gun off the flux. You can see I'm just, I'm really struggling to get that arc going. Once it was burning, it wasn't too bad though. Well, as you can see here, I ended up switching over to some 7018 rod. Worked a lot better, didn't have nearly as much moisture in the flux. Burned all those rods in. Ended up doing about four passes. Quite a bit of overkill for this application, but that's all right. Then I had to drill a different hole in the pin for the top link. You can see there it wasn't quite on center, but for my application it works just fine. And I just, I did that so that I could put a uh, pin through there and not have that extra part of the pin hanging out the side. There's more for aesthetics than anything else. So I'm just finishing up the last pass with some 7018. I end up grabbing my needle gun and cleaning up off of that slag. That needle gun works really great. It is a Harbo Freight special, but for as often as I use it, it works out really well. Did a little check fit, put the ball in there, put the pin through, and we're pretty much done. So I got it all on here. I had to obviously cut the ears off and relocate them so that they lined up with my quick attach to support all the other implements I already have. This is an RV uh, ball that I got from my brother's parents-in-law for free. These are pretty pricey and I intend on cutting the ears off and just utilizing this as the ball that will stay attached to the moving attachment that I've got here. Um, I do need to go get a, a two to three bushing for this side and this side. Um, but I'm going to get that down the road. Uh, for today, I'm going to go ahead and pull this baby out of here and uh, go move a trailer around so I can get the uh, brush hog out and go, uh, go mow. All right, well, that's going to wrap up the video here for uh, modifying my towing, my trailer attachment for my tractor. I'm going to paint it later, but I'm going to use it right now and I don't want it to be all wet um, with paint. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything done I need to do with it right now. I'll paint it up and it'll all be dialed in, but this is going to wrap up the video. Uh, not much to, be, to, uh, to learn here. I, I ended up having to cut this off, use my plasma cutter. I washed out the welds. I reused the existing ears that were there. Um, I started out with a little uh, 6011, uh, some really old stick rod I had, didn't work very well. Switched over to some 7018. Uh, I burned that in, it came out pretty good. Uh, I used a needle gun, a uh, pneumatic needle gun to uh, clean off the slag. It's just a little faster. Um, had to adjust some of the bushings uh, in order to make this work with a quick attach. I did get this off of Amazon. You can go ahead and check out the link in the description. Uh, the ball here itself is, this is a 2 and 5 sixteenths. This is the size of ball that's the trailers that I own, all three of them, they fit this. So this will just stay on here permanently. And uh, 
I gotta be honest, I've never used one of these on the tractor before. I always just used a front loader and a ball, which really didn't work well. This uh, worked incredibly well. Really happy that I, I purchased this adapter, um, got it all set up, and now I'm able to use it. So go ahead and check out some of the links in the description. I'll have my tractor series of builds up here. Uh, hit that subscribe button. That always helps me out working on the next video. Uh, maybe check out my house build. Uh, this is going to be a quick one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hope you got something out of it, and I appreciate you guys watching.